Hey everyone, it's Carlo. I want to talk to you today about polyphonic waveform detecting and editing on electric rock guitar. Now, why is this important? Well, I get this question a lot. You see, when you're working with distortion, it's really harmonically rich, those frequencies. And Melodyne, of course, doing its magic, can overanalyze a lot of those harmonic overtones and give you a lot of extraneous notes that aren't pertinent to the solo itself, for example. So what I did here is I recorded two tracks of uh, rhythm guitar, left and right, and a solo guitar track here for my, my indie rock band. And I thought I'd bring this in and give you an example and see what it looks like and how you might utilize this and tweak it so you can actually work with something like this. So here's my rock guitar solo track. I'm going to select focus on it, and there it is. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, a guitar is a, is a polyphonic instrument. And even monophonic lines will be over-detected because of the harmonic overtone and richness of the, uh, the performance. Let's take a listen to uh, some of this before we get started. Okay, so as I was saying before, yeah, you can see the strongest hints of where the lead line is, but what is all of this going on around it? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of over detection, and that's because Melodyne is correctly identified this as polyphonic. Let me come up to my let's select the audio, come up to algorithm, and it, it correctly identified it as polyphonic decay. And that's because I'm not just playing monophonic one note at a time leads. There's a lot of triads in here, for example. So how do you get this to conform to look more like what you've recorded so you can begin editing this without driving yourself crazy? First thing I'm going to do is close my tracks lane. And let's uh, start by zooming out a little bit so we can try to squeeze in all of this harmonic overtone richness in one kind of view, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is start with my note assignment mode. It's the uh, monkey wrench icon next to the, uh, the edit mode icon right here. So just select that. And the first thing I'm going to do is, since I played this guitar solo, I know pretty much the fundamentally of what ranges I stayed in. So I'm going to tell Melody, I'm going to use a Venetian blind technique to say anything, anything above this, right, let's say right about there, is overtones, notes I didn't play. Now, you might have to use a little bit of more care detection in your work, but I know this, I know this performance since it was me, and so I actually know where, where the ranges are above and below those frequencies, all right? Now, next, I'm going to use my selector tool, and I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, anything, let's say these notes here, this group of notes, double click on them like this, and it consolidates the energy back into the notes preceding below it in the different pitches. And this is really what I want to show you. So I'm taking a lot of these overtones and I'm telling Melodyne, now all of this is over detection. See, I didn't play all these notes here. And I'm carefully going through and I'm highlighting a lot of the overtones. And you're starting to see that it's shaping up into more of a succinct perspective relative to the performance that I did. All right. There's one there. And let's get rid of this note right here. You can zoom in, of course. Say, ah, uh, that's, that's an overtone. Now, in essence, what I've done is I've consolidated my view into a more accurate representation of the performance value. And when you're done, just select the edit note icon, and there we go. Let me bring my tracks back in. And now, when this is being played, we can see that it's going to be more relative, visually accurate, to what we're sonically hearing. 
Okay, now with a lot more detail and time and attention, I could really go in here and, you know, fine-tune the detection and the parameters a lot more accurately. But it's a process I want to highlight here. So when you come across editing distorted guitars, like in this example, an indie rock lead guitar, you're going to see that, wow, there's a lot of extraneous overtones being represented. Well, it's your job to pull Melodyne back and say, nope. Use the note assignment mode here, again, to give you that opportunity to conform the detection to the bass material. And you should always practice this because all the audio you're going to be working with is always going to possibly be a little bit different. And when you understand how to make Melodyne work for you in an example like this, then you can quickly and easily get to those, uh, get to that workspace, that frame of mind that you're looking for, all right? So hopefully you learned something new. And the best way is always to dive right in and try it for yourself.